Okay, let's talk about negative emotion when manifesting and intrusive thoughts and spiraling thoughts and all those things where we're like, oh my gosh, is this gonna mess up my manifestation? I'm living in my end and I'm experiencing negative emotion to the point where I'm spiraling out of control. And I just wanna let you guys know that it is necessary to experience negative emotion. Why is this? Let's go back to the beginning when we first discover that we create our own realities and we get to experience everything that we actually want to experience. As soon as you unlock the secret that you create your own reality, you are automatically going on this journey. So you're gonna attract all this information. I call it information overload. And this, this fluctuates and it comes and goes because even when you start getting clear on your manifestations, you start going through information overload also. This is all necessary, but this causes your energy to drop and go up and drop and go up a lot. And when we drop in these lower energies, we think it's messing up our manifestation, but it's not. You have to remember that you are programmed a certain way. And in order to release all this old stuff, these old stories, they need to come up to the surface so they can actually be released. And this is why I mostly talk about and teach meditation, which is really just quieting your mind. And you can do this throughout the day. It doesn't have to be in the morning. It doesn't have to be at night. It doesn't have to be a ritual because you actually want to get to the point where you're, you don't even need to actually meditate every morning. You're meditating throughout your day. You're able to still your energy and get yourself back to that centered place that being in the present moment. And this, you can master this. This is being in control of your energy. This is being stable, understanding that everything's working out in your favor, all those things that you hear. So basically, when you're dropping in lower energies, it's just the old stuff kind of coming up. It's like you kind of living in two worlds, right? But again, it needs to come up to the surface. So when these lower energies do arrive, and you're starting to panic, you want to calm yourself down by focusing on your breathing, doing some breath work, basically feeling into it, relaxing into it, relax your body into it, like rest your body, rest your stomach muscles and say, okay, this is all part of the process. And you can still your energy as much as you can and quiet your mind. And this is a very good opportunity to start working on this connection to your higher self say things when you get still in your energy say things like please help me get through this help me see this clearer help me get to the next best step in the most easiest way possible this is so helpful okay in time in time when you start releasing this old stuff and you're continuously living in the end of your manifestation and you're gonna start seeing things being pushed out in your reality, your life is gonna start changing for the better. You do not experience these heavier energies anymore. You're actually raising your energy in this process also. You're becoming your true self. All of this is, comes with it. I don't even have to get into to like details of all the things that happen when you start doing this. This is why I always stressed, especially in the beginning of my journey when I was teaching this to people, don't focus on anything but working on your triggers. Whenever something triggers you or something you feel like something's coming at you, all you have to do is work on all those things, that, that energy that you feel like something's coming at you because it all stems from a limiting belief. And if you can master that by working with that energy, by saying no, cool, calm, and neutral, I am in control. This is all from my past programming. This is not who I am anymore. And just remember that nobody can do anything to us. We're always in control. And this is an opportunity to look at something and say, okay, this person's making me angry right now. I'm feeling like a victim but I know that it's me, it's my past programming, and I, that I know that I can change this story. So by remaining still, you do not keep this story going. You don't keep it going. Because remember, 
Everything that's happening now is old news. It's dead. It has no energy unless we give it energy. So when someone's coming at you in your reality, just know that, wait a minute, I have, I have a choice right now. I'm going to remain calm. I'm not even going to react to them. I always, I would take a deep breath if it was an old story of something and I would take a deep breath and I, no, um, I can't really address that right now. Or I'd say something. I can't really talk, you know, I can't address that issue right now. I'll, I'll get back to it. I'll figure it out. And then I would take that minute to like do some breath work and get quiet. And I would work on changing that story. It's crazy to say that these things would just disappear. They would disappear from my life, these stories. And that's how powerful we are. And that's why I talk again about really practicing, connecting to your higher self. They're guiding you and trying to let you know how powerful you are and how much this is your reality. And no one has say in your reality. And always coming from a good place, like for everything in your life, like you manifesting the things that you want, you becoming more aware and spreading awareness is honestly the best thing you can do for yourself and others. By you stepping into your power and receiving your manifestations and knowing these belong to you, you're not only improving your life for the best and living your best life, but you you spread this to others. You spread this light onto others. So that's something to really understand that never deny your manifestations or think that you're not worthy of them. Keep doing this inner work. The inner work is you just facing your triggers and accepting them and, you know, practicing connecting to your higher self and remaining cool, calm and neutral and letting these old things just fade and being a master of your energy. This will help you become a master manifester in your life. I don't even really like, I went through a phase of affirmations and all of that, but it always was just for enjoyment and fun and to get me lined up with certain things. But I don't live my life doing affirmations. I don't. I live my life by trusting my intuition, connecting to my higher self constantly, trusting that things are gonna come into my life the way that they're supposed to by receiving the best information from them, my higher self, my future self, because I want these things to come in the best way possible for me so I can live my best life, the life that I'm meant to live here, because I believe that we put all these things here before we even got here, right? And life experience and being here, um, you know, we put other things in here as well, but I believe this is all pre-planned. I truly do with, in my heart and soul, I I believe a lot of this is pre-planned. So connecting to your higher self is, is, is the key to this. It really is the key. It's your future self guiding you. But my biggest message for this video, guys, is to let you know that negative emotion, intrusive thoughts, spiraling, all those things are actually necessary. They're necessary. Don't be afraid of them. Don't fear them and just say, okay, this is necessary. This has to come up. I'm not afraid of this. I'm just going to feel into it. Higher self, future self, help me see the next best step. You're practicing getting present and listening to your higher self, getting really quiet. And I promise you, they will lead you to the next best step. It may be a video. It may be a friend. You know, something is going to come through and you're going to say like, okay, this makes sense. I see why this had to happen. So trust the process and keep reminding yourself that you're exactly where you need to be. You can get, um, I have tons of eBooks on this. They're super cheap, super cheap, $5. I have a free one in there. I always like to tell people like I do coaching, but you do not need coaching. You don't need coaching. I received zero coaching on my journey because your coach is your higher self. Your coach is your future self. You don't need coaching. You can watch people's videos to help you believe in this stuff and just trust the process. And that's a part of connecting to your higher self. Um, You, like I say, my eBooks, I I try to make them super reasonable. They're really short, easy reads and they can help you with certain things. But the, the truth of it is, is that your higher self is your coach, is your mentor on this journey, leading you to your best life.